again, in this part 2 basic shirt tutorial, we're going to take the patterns that we've closed in part 1 and sew them up into a shirt, which you can see that I am wearing it right now. The tutorial link for making these patterns from your clothes can be found in the description below. And now, let's get right to cutting fabrics. Materials that you need, cotton fabrics, matching thread, thread clipper, dressmaker pins, fabric scissors, tailor's chalk and sewing machine. For the fabric, it is important to place the grain line indicated on the pattern along the selvage. Selvage is the finished edge of fabric during manufacture and it prevents the edges from fraying. Normally when you buy fabric, the supplier will cut on this side which is perpendicular to the selvage. There are three types of fabric green, straight green, cross green and bias green. The main one is the straight green which is parallel to the selvage and this is how I'm going to place my patterns. I'm adding a style line to divide my shirt so the upper bodice is grey and the lower bodice is white. I add 1cm from style line and fold before placing the front bodice pattern. If you are going for one colour, you can skip this step and place the whole pattern piece on the fabric. Use the chalk to trace the pattern. I'm adding more flare to the side seams for a more relaxed fit. Cut the pattern out. Repeat the same steps for the back bodice pattern if you are going for the colour blocking style. Make sure that the length of style line is the same for both front and back. We need two pieces for sleeves. Fold the fabric and place the sleeve pattern to trace and cut. Snip the shoulder notch so it's easier to match and sew later. Next, I'm going to cut the collar strip. Measure the front neckline and back neckline on the patterns using ruler or fabric tape measure. Double the measurement, which is 47cm for mine. Fold the fabric on the stretchier side that is perpendicular to the selvage. The height I'm giving is 3cm and the length is the 47cm that we just measured. Minus off 2cm so it becomes 45cm. Mark the collar strip. I minus 2cm and also didn't add seam allowances because I want to stretch it to fit during the sewing so the collar will turn out looking better. Now I'm going to cut the lower bodice patterns on the white cotton fabric. I place the top fabric piece to match the flare. Add 1cm allowance from the style line and draw. I repeat the steps for the lower back bodice. I make sure that the front and back side seams are matching in length before cutting them out. Matching the lower front bodies to top front bodies and lower back bodies to top back bodies. Now we are ready to start sewing. Take the top front and back pieces, work on the wrong side of fabric and match the side seams. Sew 1cm down on both sides. Take the lower front and back pieces, Work on the wrong side of fabric and match the side seams. Sew 1cm down on both sides. For the raw edges, I use my domestic machine for zigzag seam finishing as my overlocking machine is not with me. Next, I match the lower bodies to the top bodies and attach them together by sewing 1cm all around. Attach the front shoulder seam and back shoulder seam by sewing 1cm down on the wrong sides. Fold the sleeve and sew 1cm down on the wrong side. Do the same for the other sleeve. Working on the wrong sides, match the shoulder notch that we snipped before to the body's shoulder point. Pin the lower sleeve seam to the body's side seams. Tuck the sleeve into the bodies so it's easier to manage. Sew 1cm from edge all around. Do the same for the other sleeve. 
turn the shirt out and the sleeves are looking good. Unfold the collar strip and match the ends. So once you am down from the edge, press open the seams and fold it back. Still working on the right side, pin the collar strip to the neckline. I hide the collar seam at the back about 1.5cm away from the shoulder seam so the layers won't be too thick to sew. Pin to secure and sew 1cm all around from edge. I cut my collar smaller than the total neckline so I will stretch it to fit. I did it this way so the collar strippers can be minimized. I am press the collar to eliminate the rippers. Fold 2cm out from sleeve hem and sew 1.5cm from edge all around. Do the same for the other sleeve. Fold 2cm out from body's hem, pin to secure and sew 1.5cm from edge all around. I am press the seams and the shirt is completed. So here it is the completed shirt which you have already seen before. So it's not super perfect because I didn't use the right sewing machine for the finishing but I still love it more than the rest of my cotton shirts because I made it myself. I guess that's the best part of making your own clothes because you tend to appreciate it even more. So I also make one hoodie shirt for butter. Look into the camera. But he doesn't seem to appreciate it. <laughs> Cannot see anything. <laughs> okay, oh well, go run. If you like this video, let me know in the comment box below. You can also follow me on Instagram and tag me at HTLY if you're trying out this tutorial. Don't forget to click subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!